Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. The body beat down here. Getting this morning walk in. Just got off the bus. Just started sprinkling. sprinkling -ing -ing -ing. So, got the old umbrella out. Get the walk done anyway. Tuesday. Taco Tuesday, guys. So today is chest day. We're going to be working out the chest. I've already got kind of my plans for that. It's basically going to be a flat bench kind of day. I don't know if I'm going to try for a PR or if I'm going to just uh, do some good working out uh, with a lot of sets and extremely low reps of 315 or something. I'm not real sure what I'm going to do. But last week I had a nice mixture. So this week I'm kind of going to stick to... Uh, one movement and keep it simple. Whew. So I hope everybody's having a good morning so far. And yeah, I'm using my GoPro this morning instead of my phone. A little bit easier to handle the little GoPro sometimes. Even though the files are a lot larger, I need mega hard drive storage, guys. Whew getting a lot of videos over the past seven years so yesterday I had a good morning I wanted to do something a little different and uh, I sung uh, a song start out the the day start out the week you know uh, on a good positive high note and uh, I didn't really get any reactions, no comments or anything. Kind of uh, surprising. Uh, again, I'm not a professional singer by any stretch of the imagination. And that's really the first time I ever sung that song, Cult of Personality by Living Color. And it was the first take. And I tried to explain, you know, I'm doing that on a $80 web camera. No production to it. You know, first time singing it. I sung it in a more aggressive style. And uh, after listening back to it several times now, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, someone who's not a singer and uh, didn't know the words, you know, I'm looking at the screen having to sing, you know, the words that way. I know some of the words, but I don't know the whole song. And, uh, you know, I think I did pretty good. I was proud of it. Not every day you can say that. I wish I would have followed my passion in life which was the arts, not only drawing and painting and all that sort of stuff and photography, but also music. I love music. I wish I would have uh, done something with that and uh, put in some time and effort into music from singing to uh, learning to play the drums and guitars and stuff like that. I just love it. <coughs> It's good stuff, man. Good stuff. It's as healthy and wonderful for you as working out and eating right. So, good fun stuff, guys. I'll find another song to sing. I uh, just periodically I'll run across a song that I like. And I'm like, oh man, I should sing that. I want to sing that. And then I end up forgetting what the song is. So I'll try to get another one lined up and do a little more entertaining. How about that? Oh boy. So, so far this year is going okay with school. Uh, even though I have a bus full, and I got a bunch of new kids. Everything's going okay so far. I, I do have two kids that started riding last year. 
and that are riding this year again. They give me the most trouble. A uh, couple little kids and the brother and sister. Those are about the only two that's kind of gets to me. But I'm going to handle it different this year. I'm not going to let it get me. I'm going to make sure I handle things differently. So I'm looking at about 15 more days and I go to Jackson to get my blood work done again. Uh, whatever cancer center it is that I'm going to. Can't say I'm real nervous. Again, if you if you watched my last video where I talked about it uh, a few days ago, you know nothing's gonna really surprise me. I just kind of always expect the worst, so you know that way I'm not really surprised. <laughs> uh, you know, it is what it is. We'll do what we do, and you know if it's if it's nothing good, if it's something, we'll handle it. I better reach my goals with my lifting really quick though, just in case. I don't want to leave this world with unfinished business. So I'll touch on something else. Uh, I got a notification that a guy commented on one of my videos that I posted uh, a few weeks back uh, where I was doing some shrugs on the Smith machine and I had my shirt kind of pulled up back over my head to where kind of like my stomach and all that was showing uh, and the reason for me doing that was because uh, when you're doing shrugs the bar you know is sitting there pulling and rubbing all over your shirt and getting tangled in it sometimes and everything else so I thought well I'll pull my shirt up over my head and uh, get it out of the way so he made a little snide remark about put your shirt on properly nobody wants to see it big gut so i made a comment back let him know that his mom didn't have a problem with it and uh, i just let him know that you know i don't mind poking and being fun and goofing off and that but being rude like that you know trolling spamming people for no reason won't be tolerated and I'll block him and uh, I'm all about cutting up and poking and all that kind of good stuff but you kind of cross the line sometimes with some things like that uh, number one I don't have that big a gut uh, especially if you look at 50 year olds across America uh, in comparison I look like a chiseled Greek god compared to a lot of people uh, people half my age uh, kids that ride my bus and uh, anyway if I ever have my shirt off to any sort of degree up over my neck or off or anything it's never to show anything off because I don't have anything to show off I've always, I've hated my body pretty much my adult life. In my 20s, I was built a little better. I went through a, a skinny phase, which I enjoyed. I liked being skinny. And uh, then mid to late 20s, I started putting on some size from just naturally gaining weight back. And plus I started working out at that time. So, you know, you look a little better when you're younger. I'm not young anymore, I'm 50. And uh, I'm never going to be 100% happy with my physique, but I'm a whole lot better than what I was, and I'm a whole lot better than a lot of people out there. And uh, if you ever see me without a shirt, believe me, I'm thinking about it. Because I'm not one of those that just shows my stuff. Uh, especially on camera and posting it on social media. If I do, it's for some kind of reason... Like I said, my shirt was in the way. Not only that, sometimes I'm just overly hot, overly sweaty, and just have to come out of my shirt, which is very, very few and far between. You don't typically see me do that. So, 
you know and then i went to check his youtube page his profile whatever and of course he doesn't have a single video uploaded so you know just another keyboard warrior troll spammer who has nothing good to say which is a, you know how a lot of people are online you know remember the old saying if you can't say something nice don't say nothing at all a lot of people forget that these days because they're safely tucked behind their phone or computer or whatever so <sighs> got a good little sprinkle today guys it's about two months late all the rain we've had the past maybe two weeks <sighs> So anyway, guys, I just wanted to touch base with everybody and wish you a good, happy Tuesday and hope you do something good for yourself inside and out and inspire someone today along the way, including yourself. Why? Well, because you're the most important person in the world, I guarantee you, to yourself. At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, all right, guys. We're gonna get out of here. I gotta keep walking, get going, and my arm's about to fall off. It's burning so bad holding this camera. Whew, I might have to take my shirt off. Let me stop. All right, guys. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. We'll see you next time on the body beatdown. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!